Good morning, everybody. Going to set you guys up here and make some breakfast. Currently in my PJs. It's the weekend, so we're having a slow morning this morning. Kingston slept over at my sister's house last night, so it's just me and Kyrie home. Anton's at work. Um, yeah. He's gonna have some time off with us once baby's here, obviously. So I'm looking forward to spending that time together as a family and just like adjusting as a family of five. I'm really excited for that. But I'm gonna make myself some French toast this morning, I think. I've had to reheat my coffee like three times this morning. And I'm thinking, do I just make a fresh one? Do I just reheat this coffee? Cause I'm really bad at wasting coffee at the moment. Um, because I don't really finish them. rainy day today so I'm thinking maybe a PJ day today I did want to go for a walk the weather has been just beautiful lately sunny warm and it's just been so nice but it's raining and it's cloudy and it feels pretty cold so I might just do like some stretching again here at home in the lounge room or something So I'm having one with cinnamon sugar, which is basically like donut sugar. Um, and then I'm having one that's salty, sweet, salty. some of these today because I have two packets of these biscuits and it's 14 biscuits and it kind of sounds good so I might make these today let me adjust you so you can see my tired face I also thought I might as well open up this maternity package that I received from body ice woman so thank you so much for sending this. This is gonna be so helpful postpartum. Ooh. 
So we have the ice pack for your perineum. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And then we also have two ice packs for the boobs. Honestly, these will be so helpful when my milk comes in. And then also we have some disposable sleeves to put over the top of these ice packs, which is a really good idea. So thank you so much for sending that. Definitely going to be making use of those. I just had a shower. I wanted to wash my hair, it was feeling pretty gross. And I put my pajamas back on and now I've cut up some pineapple. So this is almost a whole pineapple and I had half a pineapple maybe like, what's well, today? Saturday, probably on like Wednesday, I had half a pineapple. I'm gonna have this now and I mean, it's just for fun. I'm not too serious about inducing myself. I know all these things are, some of them are just for fun. Some of them have research behind them, but I'm just doing it just for fun basically baby girl will come when she's ready and yeah I'm just trying to help things along my hair's all fluffy from washing it in the shower before but I could not finish the pineapple I tried and my mouth is like just too tingly and too like it feels like I'm gonna get a blister if I keep eating more pineapple so I've put it aside um, <sighs> Every time I walk around, I keep getting those lightning shocks down there um, and it hurts. Um, so I'm putting this pineapple away for now. I want to like keep moving around, but I'm also like so exhausted today. I'm so tired. I woke up early this morning with Anton before he went to work um, and couldn't get back to sleep. So I just like laid in bed until Kyrie woke up, but I'm still like really sleepy. Um, so I think I just need to like take it easy today. We did go for a bit of a walk yesterday, me and my sister, and took the boys to the park and the kids to the park and it was a beautiful day, it was sunny. Um, so I think today I might need to just chill and rest and lay down, even though that's not going to help progress labour. I'm not going to drive myself crazy about it. My due date is in... Well, it's on Friday um, and my next midwife appointment is on Thursday so the last appointment I went to they said they can't do a cervical check until my due date so they might give me one because it's just the day before unless something happens between now and then which I really hope it does but I'm also not gonna drive myself crazy over it both the boys were a week past their due date and I really thought she was gonna be different but we're slowly creeping up to my due date and she's still tucked in there quite comfortably. I do feel like my tummy is like just getting lower and lower every day. Like I can fit a whole hand between my belly and my boobs. And that's when you know like your belly's definitely dropped. So she's super low, super, super low. But yeah, yesterday we also, was it yesterday or the day before, we went and got, did the car, like detailed the inside, the outside, so that's all clean and done. Um, so that was like a big job ticked off our list. We just got to put a car seat in. It's literally sitting by the garage door, like down the hallway, just ready to be put in. And what else? Just need to put the hospital bags in the car ready to go but I've been using things in my bag like every night so I'm kind of just like holding off on putting them in the car I haven't picked up the tens machine yet <laughs> well like if worse comes to worse Anton can go get it if I get in if I'm in labor he can go get it because it's not far from our house but it actually feels so comfortable like leaning over like this in this position or just like being on my hands and knees it just releases some pressure like on my hip bones and even on my back but that's a little update because we're just not doing much right now I'm considering jumping back into bed to be honest and putting on some Netflix and just like yeah maybe falling asleep if I fall asleep but 
keep you guys posted anyways this might be like a little day in the life my last day in the life before baby gets here okay so we've been watching a movie you can probably hear it in the background it's a bit loud we're watching transformers but um i've been getting a couple of contractions well i think they're contractions but they're in the front and in my back so i've got a heat pack they're really bad so i've just um it kind of hasn't gone the pain like completely gone so I don't know if they're contractions or not or if baby's just sitting in a really weird spot I tried to get up and move around and change positions and it didn't help at all so I'm laying back down but I just called Anton and he's coming home from work a few hours early I'm just laying here trying to get through this uncomfortable pain it's not excruciating obviously I can talk but it's so uncomfortable and it's all the way up my back too especially my lower back so I've just been looking on Google about back labor, but I don't know what's going on, but super uncomfortable right now. And what happened to me? <laughs> and Kari is just taking care of me, really, aren't you? And daddy. And keeping me company. And daddy. It's just like really hard to tell what kind of pain it is, you know? But I just thought I'd keep updating the vlog in case something actually happens. Mummy's video. <laughs> it's a new baby. Hey everyone. Anton's on his way home. Yay. Yay. Daddy's on his way home. Because baby's sore. Because yes. mummy's sore. Baby's okay. Mummy's okay. sore. <laughs> Um, Kingston's still not home yet. Missing him. We missing in the pasta. <laughs> we missing in pasta. Missing in pasta. Um, so it'd be good to have Ant on home. I'm just gonna wait and see what this pain does first because it is a lot in my back. Um, it just like randomly came on too but it's like really tight at the front too so i'm just trying to see if it's anything if it continues or not but um, oh baba don't do that don't do that please it's time for another update it is a couple of days later since that last clip that you guys saw of me in quite a bit of pain um so basically I had contractions and I'm pretty sure they weren't Braxton Hicks contractions um, because they were pretty intense they were intense enough for me to get Anton to come home from work so they were all the way through my back through my front um, and just like more painful than what I've been experiencing with my Braxton Hicks contractions um, so I really thought something was gonna happen that night or it was just going to continue to build but it didn't and yeah <laughs> here we are two days later tomorrow I have my 40 week checkup so I'm going to ask for a cervical check they didn't do one last time because my hospital rules are they can't check you until 40 weeks so yeah that's the go um, I'm still really uncomfortable getting lightning crutch all the time so she's definitely down low i'm trying to stay positive we've been taking the boys to the park the last few days and just getting out in the sunshine and just hanging with them um, and spending time with them basically before baby girl gets here but it's 
just a big waiting game. I'm trying not to focus on it too much and just kind of get, a, get along with my days. It can consume you. These last few days or last week or whatever can totally consume you. So I'm trying not to focus on it. It'll happen when it happens. Um, I did try, like we have been doing lots of walks, lots of exercise. Um, I did put a little bit of peppermint oil on my belly and quickly wiped that off, like quickly jumped in the shower and wiped that off because it started to burn and I probably didn't do enough research on it to really feel comfortable with leaving it on my belly while it was burning. So. I put it on for about five minutes and then jumped straight in the shower and washed it off. I've been taking a bath every day to try and relax, trying to stay in my positive mindset, calm, but also trying to keep on top of the housework. So yeah, that's my little update. That's been my life the last couple of days. We've also put her car capsule, car seat capsule in the car. So that's all ready to go. I'm not sure if I mentioned, um, that we went and detailed the car and cleaned the inside and outside. Finally, it desperately needed doing. So yeah, now her car seat's in the car. It's all done. We are ready to go. I've been spending a lot of time at home. I've been a real homebody, um, just not wanting to leave the house or do anything or socialize, to be honest. Um, but that's my feels at the moment. I hope she's here soon I really do I have to lean over like this like this leaning over the bench or like leaning over the couch on my knees is like the most comfortable position right now thank you once again for following along with my pregnancy journey I guess I'll give you a little bump shot since it may be the last one I'm pretty sure this will be my last bump shot 40 weeks she's definitely low there's nothing that fits me nothing that's comfortable anymore so I've just been wearing tracky pants and jumpers basically so excited to have her I know in my next video she'll be coming at least she'll be on her way <laughs> so thank you for watching um, hope you guys are all well and I shall see you really soon bye